you generally benefit from Kovacs? I think so. It's not like, it's not going to make me amazing, obviously, but I think essentially like your arm obviously has muscles, your wrist has muscles. And I think just from playing right, uh, the game, I'm not training those muscles very well. So whenever I have to track someone or if I'm flanking and I'm behind someone, I have to track them. I always do kind of bad. But ever since I've done this, like, I think I've been a bit better at it. Now, I'm not saying like I've turned into a god because I'm far from actually being even... I'm not even that good at aim labs. I'm like, I'm decent, I think. But I think it does help, you know, you... Uh, there are some exercises that I find really annoying and like I don't I can't train them in Valorant as efficiently so I might as well improve it here. So I think that is it. It's more targeted training. Now they do say like you can't just do aim labs or Kovacs and then be done with it. They do say like after you do that go into a deathmatch and like get used to the movement in the game. But yeah, I think it's a it's a combination of like you don't need to do 2 hours. You don't need to do 1 hour. I think just a little 30 minute session to warm up, to work the muscles a little bit, just like at the gym. And then you go into game and you actually play the game because essentially you need to play the game still.